Hey guys, so another quick unscripted video and we're going to quickly talk about how to import the account that we previously made when we participated in the crowd learn functionality, how we import that into the browser extension similar to MetaMask. So why would you want to do this? So there's decentralized exchanges similar to Uniswap on the Polkadot blockchain or the Rokoku blockchain or the Kusama blockchain. So for this example, we're gonna use Mandala, which is by the Akala team. This is the testnet version of their decentralized exchange. So you can see when we connect to this website, it's saying that we don't have the extension and that we need to install it. So let's get on with that. Let's press get the extension. I wanna download for Google Chrome because that's the browser that I'm using. So press add to Chrome and add extension. So once it's been added, I'm gonna click on the jigsaw piece and just pin it to my uh, hotbar here. So when we click on the extension, make sure you are fit happy with all of this. We need to add an account because we currently don't have any accounts. So what we can do is press the plus button and we re can restore the account from the backup JSON file, which we previously downloaded. Now, just in case you have misplaced this file, we can re-download it. So we go to the polkadot.js.org website and click on the apps wallet. And yes, allow the uh, browser um, extension access. So we verify we're on the correct uh, chain, so on Rokoku, we're happy with that. So we go to accounts, then accounts. And we want to uh, get the JSON file for the testnet main account that we previously made. So we press the free vertical circles and we um, create a backup file for this account. So what we need to do is put in our password. So we're going to do that just now and then press download. This will download the JSON file here. And then what you want to do is navigate to uh, wherever this JSON file is for you. So for me, it is here. So what we do is go back to this website um, and we can simply drag and drop that JSON file into this area here and input our password and press restore. So now we can see here the account is active and we can go to the extension and the account is active there. So the last thing we wanna do is refresh the decentralized exchange website and make sure the account is connecting. It should come up asking us to approve. So yes, we're gonna allow the application access and we'll upload the metadata as well, no problem. So now we can begin to use the decentralized exchange on the testnet and get familiar with how it works. I hope this helped guys. It's really good to become familiar with this on the testnet before it becomes uh, live on Kusama or Polkadot. Thanks for watching guys, and please consider subscribing to this new channel. Thanks.